Alrighty, hello year eight. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a recording of how to get started in NoteFly and you've got a small guide that goes along with it. So the video will have just started, I had to start the audio first. We've gone through the basic setup of actually getting a NoteFlight account. You've logged in, you've verified your email, you've done the survey, and you're now sitting at a screen that looks something like this. You don't have any scores because you've not made any yet. First thing you need to do is come up to create a new score. You click on it, it'll think about it, you'll get this dialog box, and you want to go start from a blank sheet you come into a blank sheet that looks like this. You see that there's a place to input the title of the piece of music and the composer or the lyricist or a subtitle. We're going to call our piece of music all night, all day. Uh, we don't know who the composer is. There's no composer listed. We don't need to worry about a lyricist or subtitle. So now we're in NoteFlight. NoteFlight allows you to input music digitally rather than writing out by hand the old-fashioned way. When we work in NoteFlight there's a few simple rules that we need to follow to make it really simple. The first rule that you need to follow is that you have to work from left to right the same as you would read. If you try and work backwards you will run into all sorts of problems with rests and rhythms not going where you want them to. So remember to work from left to right. The next thing that you need to remember is when you're using NoteFlight, using your cursor to navigate or to click on things or to add things isn't always the best way to do so. Using your keyboard shortcuts, so your arrows and your letters, will make you much, much quicker at using this program. The third thing to remember is that you can copy and paste things, and particularly in a song like All Night All Day, where the first line is almost the same as the second line and the second half of the first and second line are the same as the second half of the second, third and fourth line, once you've written a little bit, you can copy and paste them. So don't feel as though you have to score out every note individually. Okay, so let's get started. On your Note Flight Quick Start Guide, I've shown you that you need to come up to what I call the ribbon. And on the left hand side, you can open this menu that has all of the different options that you want in NoteFlight. When you're working in NoteFlight, the options that you need most of the time are score, duration, pitch, and measure. If you've got a whole lot of options open, your ribbon becomes too full and confusing. So I encourage you to only have open the four ticked here, score, duration, pitch, and measure. As we go through I'll tell you what each is going to do. Let's get started scoring all night all day. The first thing that we need to do to get all night all day to sound correct is deal with that F sharp that we have. We could put it in as an accidental but we would like to put it in as a key signature and we're going to learn a little bit more about key signatures this term. The way that we do that is we click and the rest in our first bar of music and you'll see this little note head appear, we'll talk about that soon. Then on your keyboard you're going to press Command A. Once you've pressed Command A your whole score will highlight. Now that it's highlighted we can come up to change key signature, we can click and then choose the key of G which has in it our F sharp. It's an F-sharp top line, not an F-sharp bottom space like you may be used to, but it's still the correct F-sharp. We're going to hit OK, and you'll see a little sharp appear at the beginning of your piece of music. If you didn't press Command-A and highlight your whole score, you may not have applied your key signature to the entire piece of music. So make sure you press Command-A, highlight the whole score, and then insert your key signature. Alrighty, now we're ready to go. As I said earlier, you need to work from left to right. Here's where people go wrong. They assume that they work from left to right, and then they drop down to the next line of music. But if you look, you will see that these two pieces, these two staves are joined, and that one is the treble clef and one is the bass. This means that both lines play at the same time. 
So when you get to the end of your fourth bar, you'll need to add some more. And I'll show you how to do that once we get there. To input our first note, we're going to use a pretty simple process. We need to click in the bar to select that bar. You will then see a silhouette of a note head appear underneath your cursor. To put in our first note, we can ultimately click anywhere because we're going to change the pitch of that note a little later. To change the pitch of a note, and this is in your quick start guide, I use the arrows. I move them up and I move them down. I'm going to move my first note down to a D. So now I have the correct pitch, but I don't have the correct rhythm. I need to come up to the duration tab and select a half note. You might know a half note as a ta a or a minim. With my original note still highlighted orange, I'm going to change it to a half note. I now have the correct pitch and the correct rhythm. From here on in, I could manually go through and click note after note with my cursor, but this would take forever. Instead, I'm going to use one of the best keyboard shortcuts in Note Flight, and that is the letter R. When I press the letter R for repeat or replicate, it will replicate the same note and rhythm over again. I've now put in a second half note, another tar R. You know by now to use your arrows to change the pitch. Once I've put in my next note, I'm simply going to press R again. Now you're looking thinking, well, our third rhythm of the piece is not a ta ah. It's a tum. You'd be correct. But you know by now that to change the rhythm, I come up into the ribbon and I now need to select a quarter note or a ta. You've probably also figured out that there's a little rhythm dot sitting over at the side that you need to put in. With your ta still highlighted, click the rhythm dot. You'll notice that Note Flight automatically fills the rest of the bars with rests. And you'll see that there is a quaver rest, or as they might call it, an eighth note rest, or as we might call it, a T rest, over here. We can insert a note here one of two ways. We can either click the letter name on the keyboard that we need, and we are going to need an A, or I could have input using replicate, or I could have input using my mouse. The note that comes before A now needs to be changed because it has to be a B. So I'm going to arrow it up. There's my A. I'm going to press replicate on A. And I need to make my final rhythm a half note. So I'm going to select half note. I've got my first two bars of music done. Though so far, I have used my cursor to click in a bar to input my very first note and then I have used R for replicate to input all notes after. I simply press replicate, use my arrows and come up to the rhythm to select the correct note. Again I'm going to select eighth note and then I'm going to press replicate and use my arrows until I fill up my entire bar. I'm going to need to change my next note to a quarter note and then add my rhythm dot. I'm going to press replicate again, remove my rhythm dot, change it to an eighth note, arrow it down to the correct pitch and finally put in my last note in the bar. So here is the first four bars of all night, all day. D, G, B, A. Now, as I've gone through to check my score, I've discovered there's a mistake. All I need to do to fix it is arrow it to the correct pitch. And as you write your music, you should follow the same procedure. Let's check my next two bars. E, G, G, E, G, E, G, G, E, D. Correct. But you're probably wondering why my TTTT aren't joined as a single group. 
different notation programs will beam notes in a different way. By chance, NoteFlight will put them as two separate groups of quavers. They're still quavers, it'll still sound the same. Alrighty, I'm going to do four more bars with you, but I'm not going to score them all in manually. I'm going to copy and paste some things. But to start off with, I need some more bars. To get some more bars, I click just above my music. Um, I click just above my music, I accidentally deleted a bar then. I click just above my music in the silhouetted area and you'll see there's a minus sign which I accidentally pressed to get rid of a bar or there's a plus sign to add more in. I'm going to repeat this process till I get four more bars. If I accidentally input a note on the way, I'll press delete and if I want to get out of this mode where I've got my note head, I can press escape. They're on your cheat sheet. So I need one, two, three, I need one more bar and you'll have noticed that NoteFlight automatically formatted my music now into two lines. Uh, I have some rests in this bar that I don't want. I'm going to click in it to highlight and I'm just going to delete them. Okay, let's do the second four bars. Second four bars of music have an identical start to the first two bars. So I'm going to click in bar one so that it highlights, hold shift, click in the second bar, let shift go, and then command C to copy, same as in Word, command C, click where I want to put it, and command V to paste, same as in Word, command C to copy, command V to paste. I have two bars to go, the last two bars that I'm going to do with you. They are pretty similar to bar three. The rhythms are the same. The pitches are slightly different. So I'm still going to copy bar three, command C, paste it, click, and then use my arrows to change the incorrect pitches and leave the correct ones here. This needs to come up to an F. This needs to come up to an A, this needs to come up to a G, this one to a B, and I've already changed these two. This brings me to my final bar of the first half, and you're going to do the second half all by yourself. I'm going to input my note G, and then change it to a whole note, or what we might call a ta r r r or a semi-breathe. Okay, that is the first half of All Night All Day. It's taken about 13 minutes. It shouldn't take you much longer to do the second half. A recap. You should have open score, duration, pitch, and measure. To input a note, click. The note head will appear and you can put in a note. For your next note, use R to replicate. Use your arrows to move notes in pitch and to navigate left and right. Finally, we want to play it. There are two options to play. Pressing P will play from the start. Pressing spacebar will play from selection. Here is our tune. And to get out of this view and back into note input mode, it'll either go back by itself or you can hit stop. Hope this helps. Good luck scoring the second half of all night, all day.